The USS Stein monster is a mysterious and unexplained phenomenon that occurred in the Pacific Ocean in 1976. The incident has become one of the most famous examples of alleged encounters with unidentified underwater objects and continues to be the subject of speculation and debate to this day. The USS Stein was a United States Navy destroyer that was conducting routine operations in the Pacific Ocean in 1976. According to reports, the crew of the ship began to experience strange phenomena while on patrol. In 1978, the USS Stein, which was classed as a frigate by the United States Navy, experienced a sudden emergency that caused it to divert its route towards its home base. The radar system responsible for detecting submarine threats stopped functioning abruptly. The ship made its way to dry dock in order to ascertain the cause of the malfunction, with crew members noting that it was likely related to the huge dome that was attached to the front of the ship's hull. Crew members said that this dome weighed over 59,000 pounds. Upon examination of the sonar dome, the engineers discovered an unexpected development. The rubber coating on the dome had been completely torn, causing approximately 8% of the surface to be covered in large tears. According to a Navy publication at the time, the damage, caused by something of significant power, was so severe that some of the gashes were up to four feet long. The huge cuts were so big that Navy biologist F.G. Wood was asked to examine the coating in order to explain what had happened. Upon inspection, he observed that the dome's cuts were very deep and concluded that the markings matched that of a massive squid. The issue with this explanation is that in order for these cuts to have been created by a squid, the creature in question had to be around 45 meters or 150 feet long. The Navy publication further added that the creature's huge size has never been seen before by scientists, but did say that this could have been an undiscovered species. As of right now, the largest squid species is the giant squid. These deep-sea creatures are known for their massive size, with some individuals reaching lengths of up to 43 feet or 13 meters and weights of up to 600 pounds. The giant squid has a reputation as a fearsome predator with long, powerful tentacles and sharp beaks that allow it to capture and consume a wide variety of prey, including fish, crustaceans and other squid. Despite their size and power, however, giant squids are notoriously elusive, with very little known about their behavior or life cycle in the wild. The first recorded sighting of a giant squid by humans was in 1673, off the coast of Norway. The sighting was made by a group of sailors who observed a large, mysterious creature attacking their ship. The creature was described as having long, tentacle-like arms and a large, bulbous head, and was said to be so large that it could wrap its arms around the ship. Over the years, there have been many other reported sightings of giant squids, although few have been confirmed or documented. In some cases, giant squids have been found washed up on beaches, providing scientists with valuable specimens for study. In other cases, giant squids have been captured by fishermen or deep-sea researchers, providing an opportunity to study the creatures up close. Despite these occasional encounters, however, much about the biology and behavior of giant squids remains a mystery. Their deep-sea habitat and elusive nature make them difficult to study, and many questions remain unanswered about their life cycle, behavior, and role in the ocean ecosystem. Those who investigated the large markings found on the USS Stein's sonar dome suggested that the squid responsible for causing them was likely one of the largest specimens swimming around in the ocean. Others suggested that the squid responsible may have had an extreme deep-sea gigantism. Deep-sea gigantism is a phenomenon that refers to the tendency of some marine animals to grow to larger sizes in the deep sea than their counterparts in shallower waters. This trend has been observed in a wide range of species, from giant squid and octopuses to certain species of crustaceans and fish. There are several factors that may contribute to deep sea gigantism, though the exact causes are still not fully understood. One of the most commonly cited explanations is the concept of oxygen limitation. In the deep sea, the availability of oxygen is much lower than in shallower waters, which may limit the growth and metabolic activity of some organisms. This may lead to a selective advantage for larger individuals, as they have a greater surface area to volume ratio and may be better able to extract oxygen from the water. Another factor that may contribute to deep-sea gigantism is the abundance of food. In the deep sea, 
Food can be scarce and sporadic, and animals that are able to consume large amounts of food when it is available may have a selective advantage. This may explain why some species of deep-sea crustaceans, such as giant amphipods and isopods, have evolved to grow to such large sizes. In addition to these ecological factors, there may also be evolutionary and genetic factors at play in deep-sea gigantism. Some scientists have suggested that the unique environmental conditions of the deep sea may have led to the evolution of specific adaptations that promote larger body size. For example, the extreme pressure and darkness of the deep sea may favor animals with larger eyes, which could help them to locate prey and navigate in their environment. Despite the ongoing debate about the exact causes of deep sea gigantism, there is no doubt that this phenomenon is one of the most fascinating and mysterious aspects of marine biology. The fact that so many different species have evolved to grow to such large sizes in the deep sea suggests that there may be some common ecological and evolutionary factors at play. In recent years, advances in technology have allowed scientists to study deep sea organisms more closely than ever before, using submersibles, remotely operated vehicles, and other tools to explore the depths of the ocean. These efforts have yielded new insights into the biology and behavior of deep sea organisms and have helped to shed light on some of the mysteries of deep sea gigantism. As our understanding of the deep sea continues to grow, it is likely that we will learn even more about the fascinating creatures that inhabit this mysterious and little understood environment. Whether we are studying giant squid, colossal crustaceans, or other deep sea giants, the mysteries of deep sea gigantism continue to captivate and inspire scientists and enthusiasts alike. Over the years, there's been many stories of sailors encountering mysterious sea creatures. The crew of the fishing vessel the Voyager had heard the stories of giant squids that roamed the depths of the ocean, but they never thought they would encounter one themselves. That all changed one stormy night in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The crew was on a routine fishing trip, hoping to bring in a big catch to sell at the market back home. The waves were high and the winds were fierce, but they had weathered many storms before and were confident in their abilities. As they were pulling in their nets, they suddenly felt a jolt that rocked the entire ship. They quickly realized that something large and powerful had collided with the hull of the ship. At first, they thought it might be a rogue wave or a submerged object, but as they looked over the side of the ship, they saw a massive tentacle wrapped around the hull. The tentacle was covered in suction cups that clung to the metal of the ship, and it was clear that whatever was attached to it was not letting go. The crew sprang into action, grabbing whatever tools they could find to try and pry the tentacle loose. But as they worked, they realized that this was no ordinary creature. The tentacle was thicker than any they had ever seen before, and it was attached to something enormous lurking just below the surface. Suddenly, the ship was hit again, this time with even more force. The crew could feel the ship struggling under the strain of the massive creature that was attacking it. They could see the shadowy form of the creature moving just below the surface, and it was clear that it was not going to let them go without a fight. The crew quickly realized that their only hope was to try and outmaneuver the creature, to use their speed and agility to avoid its attacks. They were forced to make quick turns and evasive maneuvers, dodging the tentacles as they slashed through the water. The ship's hull was battered and bruised, but they refused to give up. After several hours of intense chase, the crew finally managed to outmaneuver the creature and break free from its grasp. They looked back at the dark shape disappearing into the depths, feeling a mixture of fear and awe at the power of the massive creature. The crew returned home with a newfound respect for the mysteries of the ocean and a sense of gratitude for having survived their encounter with the giant squid. From that day on, they never ventured out to sea without remembering the lessons they had learned and the dangers that lay hidden in the depths below. The Kraken is a legendary sea monster that has been the subject of myths and stories for centuries. According to legend, the Kraken is a massive creature that dwells in the depths of the ocean, capable of pulling entire ships beneath the waves with its tentacles. The origins of the Kraken can be traced back to Scandinavian folklore, where it was known as the Kraka, a term that referred to any large and dangerous sea creature. The earliest references to the creature date back to the 12th century, where it was described as a giant crab or lobster that could crush ships with its massive claws. Over time, the legend of the Kraken evolved and expanded, 
with new tales and descriptions of the creature emerging in different parts of the world. In some accounts, the kraken was said to be so large that it could wrap its tentacles around a ship and pull it under the water. In others, it was described as having a massive, serpentine body that could crush boats and sailors with ease. Despite the many variations of the kraken legend, there are a few common themes that run throughout the stories. For one, the kraken is typically portrayed as a fearsome creature, capable of wreaking havoc on ships and sailors alike. It is also often depicted as an ancient and mysterious creature, with many legends suggesting that it has been lurking in the depths of the ocean for thousands of years. One of the most famous descriptions of the kraken comes from the writings of 18th century naturalist Carl Linnaeus. In his book, Systema Naturae, Linnaeus described the kraken as a massive creature with arms that were as thick as a ship's mast, capable of pulling entire vessels under the water. Although Linnaeus was a respected scientist, his description of the kraken was likely based on folklore and legend, rather than actual scientific observation. Despite the fact that the kraken is considered a mythological creature, there have been many reported sightings of strange and unusual sea creatures throughout history that may have contributed to the legend. For example, giant squid and octopuses are real creatures that are capable of growing to enormous sizes and may have been mistaken for the kraken in some cases. In recent years, advances in technology have allowed scientists to study deep-sea creatures more closely than ever before and have yielded new insights into the biology and behavior of creatures like the giant squid. These efforts have helped to demystify some of the legends and stories surrounding the kraken and have given us a better understanding of the fascinating creatures that inhabit the depths of the ocean. As of right now, the Kraken is a fascinating and enduring legend that has captured the imaginations of people around the world for centuries. Whether it is a real creature or simply a product of myth and legend, the Kraken continues to captivate and inspire us with its tales of mystery and wonder. Antarctica, the Earth's southernmost continent, has long been a source of fascination and intrigue due to its remote location, extreme conditions, and the mysteries that lie beneath its icy surface. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in reports of unidentified objects spotted above Antarctica. These sightings have fueled speculation about advanced activity, secret military bases, and hidden ancient civilizations. Just recently, someone on social media reported that they found a large object embedded in the snow saying that a large trail could be seen behind the object and suggested that whatever this thing is could have crash-landed. The user who found the photograph said that they've spent countless hours looking across Antarctica in the hopes of finding something strange. The object appears to be in the shape of a disc, with the user saying that when they measured the object it was just over 10 meters, but noted that the trail that can be seen directly behind the object measured in at over 250 meters. As of right now, there's not much to go by, but those who've seen this image have said that it's one of the clearest photographs of a mysterious object found in Antarctica and could be evidence of a mysterious downed aircraft. Oddly enough, this isn't the first time that an object like this has been found embedded in the snow, and it's caused researchers into the unknown to suggest that something strange may be going on down in Antarctica. Reports of mysterious sightings above Antarctica date back to the early 20th century, when explorers and scientists first began conducting expeditions on the continent. One of the earliest recorded accounts comes from the 1947 Operation High Jump, a United States Navy expedition led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd. During the operation, some crew members reported seeing unidentified objects moving at high speeds and performing unusual maneuvers. These sightings were never officially acknowledged by the United States government, and no concrete evidence was found to substantiate the claims. In more recent years, there have been numerous anecdotal accounts of sightings from scientists and personnel stationed at research bases across Antarctica. These accounts often describe unusual lights, metallic objects, and unexplained aerial phenomena observed in the skies above the continent. The advent of satellite technology and the availability of high-resolution imagery have provided researchers and enthusiasts with new tools to investigate sightings above Antarctica. In several instances, strange structures and objects have been identified in satellite images, 
fueling speculation about mysterious bases or secret military installations. While some of these findings have been debunked as natural geological formations or optical illusions, others remain unexplained and continue to generate debate among researchers and enthusiasts. The mysterious nature of sightings above Antarctica has led to various theories and conjectures. Some believe that these sightings are evidence of advanced activity, with Antarctica being a strategic location for bases due to its remote and inhospitable environment. Others suggest that these mysterious objects may be linked to secret military operations or advanced experimental aircraft being tested in the isolated region. Another popular theory posits that Antarctica is home to a hidden ancient civilization or remnants of advanced technology from a long-lost era. Proponents of this theory often point to anomalies in satellite images and unexplained structures as evidence for their claims. Investigating these sightings above Antarctica presents a unique set of challenges for researchers. The harsh climate, limited access and logistical difficulties make conducting field investigations extremely difficult. Additionally, the continent's remote location and limited infrastructure often hinder communication and the sharing of information. Furthermore, the lack of corroborating evidence, such as photographs or videos, makes it difficult to verify anecdotal accounts of sightings. Finally, the secrecy surrounding military operations and the reluctance of governments to disclose information related to mysterious aircrafts create additional obstacles for researchers attempting to uncover the truth behind these phenomena. As of right now, the mysterious sightings above Antarctica have captivated researchers, enthusiasts, and the general public alike. While many questions remain unanswered, these enigmatic occurrences have fueled intriguing theories and speculation about mysterious activity, secret military operations, and hidden ancient civilizations. As technology continues to advance and access to Antarctica improves, researchers may find new ways to investigate these sightings and unravel the mysteries of the frozen continent. Until then, sightings above Antarctica will continue to captivate our imagination and challenge our understanding of the unknown. Over the years, various stories have been shared by people who've explored this area, and one of these comes from a seasoned captain. In the year 1911, Captain Edward Sullivan, a seasoned explorer and cartographer, embarked on a daring expedition to the Antarctic continent. His goal was to map uncharted territories and uncover the secrets hidden beneath the ice. Little did he know that he would encounter a phenomenon that would challenge his understanding of the world and leave him questioning the limits of human knowledge. Captain Sullivan's journey began with a small crew, each member hand-picked for their skills and expertise in navigating the harsh Antarctic environment. Among them was a young and ambitious astronomer named Robert Fitzgerald, who sought to observe the pristine night sky, unblemished by the light pollution of the modern world. As the days turned into weeks, the expedition pushed further into the icy wilderness. Captain Sullivan and his crew faced treacherous conditions, battling fierce winds and freezing temperatures. Despite the harsh environment, the team remained undeterred, driven by their shared passion for exploration and discovery. One fateful evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, the Antarctic sky was illuminated by a stunning aurora. The crew gathered on the deck of their ship to marvel at the breathtaking display of swirling colours. It was then that Robert, gazing through his telescope, noticed an unusual object hovering in the sky. He told the captain to look in the direction of where the object was, and as Captain Sullivan peered through the telescope he was astonished by what he saw. There, amidst the dancing lights of the aurora, was a metallic object, unlike any he had ever seen. It seemed to defy the laws of physics, moving gracefully through the air as if unbound by the constraints of gravity. For several nights, the object appeared in the sky, each time performing an array of inexplicable maneuvers before vanishing as suddenly as it had appeared. Captain Sullivan and his crew debated the nature of the mysterious object, with some suggesting it was a secret military aircraft, while others believed it to be an advanced craft from a distant world. Determined to uncover the truth, Captain Sullivan devised a plan to approach the object and attempt to communicate with its occupants. As night fell, the crew prepared a series of signal flares, hoping to attract the attention of the enigmatic visitors. When the object reappeared in the sky, 
Captain Sullivan and his crew launched the flares in a synchronized pattern. To their amazement, the object seemed to respond, emitting a series of bright flashes that mirrored the crew's signal. In the days that followed, Captain Sullivan and his crew continued to communicate with the object, exchanging light signals in a language that transcended words. With each interaction, the crew grew more convinced that they were witnessing a phenomenon far beyond human comprehension. As the expedition neared its end, Captain Sullivan decided to document the encounter in his journal, detailing the strange object and its otherworldly behavior. However, fearing ridicule and disbelief from his peers, he vowed to keep the discovery a secret, known only to the members of his crew. Years later, as Captain Sullivan lay on his deathbed, he entrusted the journal to his closest confidant, Robert Fitzgerald. With a heavy heart, he implored the young astronomer to share the story of their encounter with the world, in the hope that future generations might seek the truth and unravel the enigma of the Antarctic skies. And so, the tale of Captain Edward Sullivan and his crew passed into legend, a testament to the boundless curiosity of the human spirit and the mysteries that lie beyond the reach of our understanding. Antarctica, Earth's southernmost continent, has long captivated the imagination of scientists, explorers, and the general public due to its vast, frozen landscape and the secrets that lie beneath its icy surface. One such enigma is the mysterious gravitational anomaly located beneath Wilkes Land, a large region in East Antarctica. This massive anomaly has been the subject of extensive research and speculation, with theories ranging from the remnants of an ancient civilization to a massive impact crater. The Wilkes Land anomaly was first identified in the early 2000s when researchers from The Ohio State University detected unusual gravitational fluctuations while analyzing data from NASA's Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment satellites. The gravity measurements revealed a massive circular structure beneath the ice, approximately 300 miles in diameter and located more than a mile below the surface. This enigmatic feature immediately caught the attention of scientists worldwide who sought to determine the cause of the gravitational disturbance and the nature of the hidden structure. Since its discovery, numerous scientific expeditions and research projects have been conducted to investigate the Wilkes Land anomaly. Using advanced technologies such as airborne radar and satellite imagery, researchers have been able to study the subglacial structure in greater detail. Despite these efforts, many aspects of the anomaly remain elusive and the exact nature of the structure is still a subject of debate among scientists. One of the most significant findings came from a study conducted in 2006 by a team of researchers led by Ralph von Frieser and Laramie Potts. Analyzing the gravity and magnetic data from the region, they proposed that the anomaly was caused by a massive impact crater formed by an asteroid collision approximately 250 million years ago. According to their research, the impact event may have contributed to the largest mass extinction in Earth's history, known as the Permian-Triassic extinction event, during which nearly 90% of all species on Earth perished. While the impact crater theory has gained significant traction within the scientific community, alternative theories have also been proposed to explain the Wilkes land anomaly. Some researchers suggest that the gravitational disturbance could be the result of a massive volcanic structure or a cluster of smaller volcanic formations beneath the ice. This theory is supported by the fact that Antarctica is home to numerous subglacial volcanoes and geothermal hotspots. Another theory, popular among researchers into the unknown, is that the Wilkes Land Anomaly could be the remnants of an ancient civilization or advanced technological structure. Proponents of this theory often point to the anomaly's circular shape and seemingly artificial appearance as evidence for their claims. While this theory has not gained widespread acceptance within the scientific community, it continues to fuel speculation and debate among those interested in the mysteries of Antarctica. The Wilkes Land Anomaly is a fascinating enigma that has captured the attention of scientists and the public alike. Its discovery has sparked extensive research and investigation, yet many aspects of the anomaly remain shrouded in mystery. As technology advances, and our understanding of Antarctica's geology and history deepens, researchers may one day unlock the secrets of the Wilkes Land Anomaly and unravel the mysteries hidden beneath the Antarctic ice. Until then, 
This enigmatic feature will continue to challenge our understanding of the Earth and its past, and serve as a reminder of the unexplored frontiers that still await discovery. So, what do you make of these mysterious Antarctica discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.